Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have $20 wagers times 3. We have Simone Zaza versus Bag, and going ahead and hopping right in. Then, yeah, we're going to see that they're playing for 20s. Um, so then we're going to see Bag win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they'll decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have Parallel, Circular, Ogre, Nib, DD Crow. They have Imperm, Running Tone, and Jet, Swap, Imperm. So they open up three hand traps plus Circular. Uh, get rid of Ronin, Summon out, Swap, Swap effect to go dump. And I'm guessing he's saying that because like, he lost Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot before. Um, swap Frog effect, go dump. Dump Swap Frog. Special Summon Jet. Jet effect to go search. So Jet does not search blue. It searches the Spell Trap. Um, yeah. So they're gonna go search starter, activate starter, bring out blue, blue effect, go search red, special summon red, overlay, go for gigantic, gigantic effect, chain ogre, chain red, chain nib. So they're gonna tribute off, special summon, pass over token, banish for Ronin Toten, chain DD Crow. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Sud double imperm, pass, draw Valor, uh, go main phase, activate circular effect, dumb sigma, special summon out. They admit defeat. Going on to the next game now, we are going to see bag go first. We have diameter, small world, driver, talent, small world. They have anti spell, dark beckoning beast, jet, ash, and a pointer. Yeah, see their hands a bit better. They open up a lot of spells in engine. They open anti spell, pointer, plus full combo. Summon effect, they admit defeat. Nice, nice. This is for bread, by the way. I'm always putting my opponent on, they're going to mess it up. You should hear me in the VCs. I'm like, they don't know what they're doing. They're going to mess it up. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and then, like, you know, not all the time they mess it up, but sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Um, like, I was playing against Polly. There's no offense to Polly. Very, very cool guy. I was like, they'll mess up, don't worry, this one nib will beat this Fleur plus full sword soul combo. They'll mess it up, trust, trust, trust. They go, Shaman effect, summon back from Grave, I'm like, no way, no way, we actually just win this. And I, I dropped nib on him, they tried to Fleur negate, I was like, you can't, Shaman. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he still ended up taking my money, but it was cool, it was cool. Uh, we have Talents times 2, Ash, Edition, Diameter, they have Ronin, Totem, Nib, Swap, Ash, Valor. And then go to main phase, normal summon out diameter, addition effect, target diameter, special summon out, make a gang a thousand attack, overlay, summon Albert, Albert effect, attach to go search, chain ash blossom, chain to negate, chain Valor on it. After that, activate talents to now draw. Uh, talents will draw Ogre and Bell. Okay, two more interruptions. Pass turn, draw Jet. And then get rid of Ronin Totem, the special summon out swap. I don't know why people declare swap hand effect. It doesn't activate in hand the special summon. Uh, that's just something that you should know. They're going to go ahead, dump swap frog, special out jet, jet effect, chain ash on it. And then up next, they will overlay, summon sky cavalry, enter battle phase, uh, crash, you know, but their guy is going to live. And then downer Zeus, because can't be stripped by battle. Overlay for Zeus, pass turn, draw addition, and then normal summon out bell, turn that into Amirage, addition, target Amirage, special summon out, and then activate Zeus effect. Could have made him link off, right? Because odds are there's somebody like Splash Mage, and then you Zeus. Um, they're going to Ogre the Zeus, activate talents to draw. What are they drawing to? Ah, Small World Sigma. Okay, uh, they're on Summon 3, by the way. So they're in a Small World Sigma, Parallel, Circular. And then this is Summon 4. Oh, Summon 5 is going to be the Trap. That's very good. Circular Effect. Go search. This Trap is so broken. I love it when I get to the point where I search this Trap because it's like, you know what? I don't need to break your entire board and, like, end you this turn. I I can do just enough. I can set up Heat Soul, draw some cards into a field. I can set up Heat Soul, draw cards because of how broken this card is. It really depends, you know. Activate Nibs, that way the Sigma gets banished. 
And then summon token, pass, to draw swap frog, activate, savvy we can rip the card in hand, the nib on field, set up a negate, and all they have is run and tut and summon. And then we have Sigma and Graveyard because they forgot to banish it. So that's like guaranteed follow up. But going on to the next match, we are going to see Math Mech win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. And they're going to go first. They're very happy that they won the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. We have Diameter, Valor, Small World, Imperm, Crow. They have Jet, Blue, Crow, Imperm, Ash. So go Main Phase, Small World, Ash. Oh my gosh, we just passed. <laughs> they draw Valor. Going first, overrated. Normal summon, special summon effect. They just submit defeat. You had like four hand, you had three hand traps. The bread is being thrown. Math mech going first. Opening hands, we have Warlord, Sign of Mining, Imprim, Warlord, Sign of Mining. They have Crow, Ash, Blue, Opening Gate. St Why are people playing this card so often recently? It's like... Uh, I don't even know. It's not bad. I guess we actually have to go over this card. I don't think we've ever gone over this card on the channel yet. Because just nobody's played it until like... The last 24 hours, I've seen like 10 people with it in their deck. Um, so you can only special summon it from the hand, you know, level rank 2. Um, during damage calculation, if another level rank or link 2 monster you control battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, you can send this card from the hand or field to the graveyard. Um... That monster you control gains attack and defense equal to the opponent's monster attack until the end of the turn. It's like, it's decent, right? But, is it, I don't know, is this really what you want to be playing in your splite deck? We're going to go sign of mine, discard warlords, chain ash blossom on it, set to pass, they draw nib. And then they're going to go main phase. Normal summon, special summon, effect to go search, chain imperm, overlay for gigantic, gigantic effect, attach and go special. Um, they're letting us go through, bring out swap frog. So like if they chain warlords and they're just gonna summon out a jet, uh, swap, dump swap, turn those into elf, elf effect, targeting swap frog, chain warlords in response. Could have also flipped Warlords and they would have sent Swap Frog, left Gigantic, Gigantic attacks, but Gigantic is an Elf, which Elf starts getting them cards on their turn, where we could have left them with Gigantic and then outed Gigantic on our turn, you know, so I think that was a misplay. Oh, they are playing pretty fast, though, they're, they're just finishing matches with the speed, I mean, look at this, this is over 13 and a half minutes in. Sign up mining, go search circular, and then activate circular effect, go dump sigma special, uh, activate sigma graveyard effect, and response chain DD Crow on sigma, battle end of main effect, yeah, they admit defeat, going on to the next one, so now they're even, we're going to see bag when the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, opening hands, we have ash, circle, bell, parallel, valor, they have nib, valor, starter, dark beckoning beast, and imperm, so go ahead, normal summon out, dark beckoning beast, effect, go search, that searches out the opening gate, and then activate, go search out the dark beckoning beast, and then this allows us to have an extra normal summon. The reason why people play this is because this also has the effect where you can discard a card, special special summon back out a fiend with zero attack and defense from the graveyard, activate starter, uh, chain ash, so like, you might be like, oh, why not just play the Nimbles? They're water, which, yes, they, they all have their own things. Diva's a water tuner. Nimble Beaver is a water that can also summon from Graveyard. Dark Beckoning Beast allows you to get to the opening gate. But, yeah, so they all have their own things. They're going to Valor that, set Imperm Pass, draw Diameter. Oh, that's a good draw. Circular Effect, go Dumb. So circular, dump sigma, special summon, and then sigma effect that goes through. So summon, circular effect to go search very good card, chain Valor on that. Uh, chains Valor specifically and not Imperm. Even though they know their opponent is on Talons, so summon Albert. Albert effect, chain Imperm. And then normal summon diameter, diameter effect, summon back up from the graveyard. This is the fifth summon. Activate Nib. Uh, tribute everything off, pass over token. They could go Link Spider if they play it. They do play it. Now they can summon Parallel. 
Uh, so summon parallel, parallel effects, summon parallel out from deck, and then this is just game because we can go uh, jammer, or we can go splash mage, and also it'd have to be in that zone. Oh, uh, go for heat soul, heat soul draw. Am I missing something? Can we just turn those into update jammer and then transcode, transcode back, access code, access code, pop this whole field and attack for game? I don't know. I feel like that was just a move instead of just drawing one and giving our opponent an extra turn. Small world, bell, valor, ash. And then attack. I mean, we have Ash against their top deck, and they have nothing in Graveyard, so... They draw a Dark Beckoning Beast, which doesn't do anything. Going on to the next game, we are going to see Splite go first. We have Parallel, Nib, Imperm, Circular Bell. They have Instant Fusion, Dark Beckoning Beast, Ready Fusion, Dark Beckoning Beast, and a Pointer. So, Ready Fusion is another level 2 card that you can play. This isn't a starter, this is more of an extender. This allows you to get to a Tuner, level 2... Um, which is weird that they're playing Dark Beckoning Beast then. Uh, we didn't see D.Va, right? Or, no, I was gonna say, we didn't see D.Va. Usually if you're playing like Ready Fusion and stuff, then you play the D.Va alongside of it because you're trying to commit more to the tuner part. Um, effect, go search, opening of the spirit gates, and then activate that to go search. Go grab Dark Beckoning Beast. And then extra normal summon out Dark Beckoning Beast. Overlay, summon Gigantic. Gigantic effect, chain imperm, activate instant fusion, pay a thousand, summon out, you know, this is the level two tuner, uh, go for elf, elf effect, they probably only play like two ready fusion, one instant fusion, they, I mean they might play four all together, it wouldn't surprise me, but I think both of these are just summoning those, elf, summon back out from the graveyard, and then activate the gate, discard to summon back out. Um, that goes through, and then drop nib on them, pass over the token, set a pointer, and then pass. I don't know why we drop nib there exactly. What rank two are we playing around? What link two are we playing around? Uh, I can't make Appalooza because... Both Dark Beckoning Beasts have the same name. Appalooza requires different names. They could have made IP. Maybe that was it. We don't want their token having more attack, and we don't want them getting IP into the loop for an elf later on. But they draw, activate a pointer. Uh, that's going to go ahead. They're going to show the hand. They're going to hit circular. And then they're going to Normal Summon Bell, Amirage, Parallel. GG's. Need to go watch Real Madrid. Madrid, I hope they lose. Oh, like soccer. Jib, you should play me. I see you watching. She, she's bad going after everybody right now. But we're going to see at this. Like, look at that. Three matches. Three matches in 20 minutes. That is speed. That's like... That was like really, really, that was like two and a half minutes per game. I guess they were scooping pretty quick, but in the end, we're going to see the Mathmech player be up $20, which is fair because, you know, they, they lost $10 to this guy the other day, it seems. So now, now they're back up, maybe not overall, but at the moment. And with all that being said, um... You can go ahead and check out, I don't, I don't think I did this at the beginning, but you can check out the Coliseum Discord linked down below at the very top of the description if you want to play in any of their future Ironmans, 1v1 wagers like this, tournaments, uh, they got new stuff coming there soon. I was talking with Nesh not long ago, we plan on doing uh, kind of like, uh, I don't think I should spoil it, I don't think I should spoil it. Just just in case if we don't end up doing it exactly how we had talked about last time. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.